Okay, for the next driver tip, I'm going to show you guys, you newbies out there, how to slide an axle. This is on a 53 foot step deck. Uh, sliding an axle on a van trailer is going to be a little bit different. Uh, and some of the other flatbed trailers or step deck trailers are going to have a different uh, setup than what I've got. Mine's a little bit odd. Okay, so first things first. Set your tractor brake. I gotta leave my air in so I can air up my trailer. Okay, so my setup is a little different than the last trailer I had. It had three buttons. This one only has one. This button right here, it controls the airbags, which raises the trailer up. And you have to manually pull have to pull the pin manually and to set the brake you have to go back into the truck so I'm gonna air up the trailer pins are both released. They look good. Alright, I'm going to go ahead and try to slot it. Okay, so back in the truck. I release my trailer brake and that is going to set my brakes on one axle only one axle on the trailer so I'm gonna release it release the trailer brake again that's gonna release the other axle on the trailer so that the trailer can roll and I'm gonna go ahead and release my tractor brakes so the tractor can roll and if everything works properly I will be able to slide my axle when I back up on it. pretty darn good to me. Even the pin looks pretty well lined up. So I'm going to release the pin. Oh wow, look at that. Popped out perfect. Now I'm going to release the air in the airbags. And it takes quite a while. Unfortunately, it's going to take a few minutes for the airbags to be placed. as you can they're up there pretty darn good. So, it's, unfortunately, it just takes a few minutes. You're going to have to sit here until... Oh, hold on. Got a snag. Sometimes this thing snags. Sometimes it doesn't. I'm going to have to fix it. Strap and slid it back. And uh, release my pin again. And now I'm going to lower the air. later it's all aired back down and we're ready to go okay and that was a 2012 transcraft DTL 2100 the actual manufacture date is 2011 so I'm not sure when they changed the system but I had the very next year model after that and my setup was totally different exact same trailer DTL 2100 so every trailer is probably going to be a little bit different especially if you have somebody that has put in some aftermarket components which is often the case with an older trailer. So you just have to uh, <laughs> do a little research on mine maybe and a little trial and error, but it's really not that hard. They're all very similar to one another. Thanks for watching. You guys stay safe out there and